playoffs are set. We will take on the Toronto Raptors. But it's some more news concerning the Sixers and the Toronto Raptors. Come on back and let's talk about it. Yo, 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 what is up, what is up, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's Key, and I'm back, I'm in the building with another video, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is your first time here ever at the Key in the Building YouTube page, I suggest you hit that bell for all of your notifications so that you know when I do go live and upload videos such as this one, and you know, I got y'all covered, whether it's the Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, and those Flyers, and let's get into it, so the Philadelphia 76ers defeated the, um, the Detroit Pistons. I drew a blank yesterday. I drew a blank just now. The Detroit Pistons uh, yesterday, uh, the final game of the NBA regular season also was yesterday as well. And they did get the job done 118 to 106. No Joel Embiid, no James Harden. Um, we did see a lot of the reserves uh, last night. Just to give you a little breakdown. Shake Milton with 30 points. Paul Reed, 25 points. And Tyrese Maxey, 20, uh, also scored uh, 25 points as well. So playoffs are set. Game one will be uh, Saturday, 6 o'clock against the Toronto Raptors in Philadelphia. Make sure y'all come on back here and tune in to the channel because I will be doing the play-by-play -play of that game. Uh, again, Number four seed Sixers against the number five Toronto Raptors. Now, definitely this series is definitely going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be physical. Definitely is going to be intense. Games one and two will be here in Philadelphia. And we will have a Matisse Thibel for those two games. But, <coughs> excuse me, but three and four, he will not be able to play in Toronto. Why? We saw this happen the last time when we played uh, Toronto and no Matisse Thibault, and it was like, oh, it's a hand injury. Reports weeks ago was like a, a few teams aren't fully vaccinated, and the Sixers were named one of them. Come to find out Matisse Thibault was not fully vaccinated. Now, yes, he does have the first vaccination shot, but he has not got the second one, um, so therefore he cannot play in Toronto, you cannot go in Canada without being fully vaccinated. Canada, please, no games. So, Matisse Thibault will miss games three and four. And we all know Matisse is the primary def uh, prim primary and best perimeter defender on the Sixers team that we have. Now, we did see that game where Danny Green did get inserted into the starting lineup. In the last couple games, Danny Green hasn't been all that bad. He has been shooting the ball well, so hopefully in those games, we can get Danny Green back. Playoff experience, three championships underneath his belt, so he definitely has the experience in the playoffs. Doc might put him back in the starting lineup and have Matisse come off the bench. Well, who knows with Doc Rivers? We don't know. But Matisse did break it down to why um, he hasn't been fully vaccinated and everything else. And I'm going to let y'all listen to Matisse. Uh, yeah, I'm not fully vaccinated. Um, yeah, this was a decision I made a long time ago. Uh, I thought a lot about what I say here. Um, essentially, I made this choice and I thought I'd keep it to myself. I could keep it private, but people are always going to wonder why. So I was raised in a holistic household where anti-vax is not like a term that was ever used. It's a weird term that has kind of been thrown around to just label people. But we grew up with like Chinese medicine and naturopathic doctors. And just with that upbringing coming into this situation, 
I felt like I had a solid foundation of medical resources that could serve me beyond what this vaccine could do for me. And as things escalated and as this situation has played out, I've obviously had to reconsider and look at it differently. And to that point, it got to the point last year during the playoffs well, where I did actually consider getting vaccinated and went through with getting the first shot, the first dose, because at that point I was under the impression that getting vaccinated would mean that I could not get the disease and transmit it to other people. And I felt like if I'm going to be a part of society in the position I'm in, I need to do what's right for the greater good. That argument of the greater good held a lot of weight for me. And as things progress, as this virus has changed many different ways, it just showed to the science that that wasn't the case anymore, that even while being vaccinated, you could still spread the disease. So for me, in my reasoning, it felt like being vaccinated was not something that I needed to do to protect other people. It was something that I would have to do to then protect myself. And without being considered in like the holistic background of my upbringing and just the way I view medicine in general, I felt like I was secure in treating myself or treat not treating myself, but going to the doctors that I have to treat COVID if I did get it. And that was Matisse Stiebel, y'all. Um, you know, explaining the why he has not been vaccinated. But the thing is, it's crazy though how this slips through this whole season, knowing that you could not step foot in ball in Toronto, not Toronto, Brooklyn, in New York. Um, interesting there, very interesting. But Matisse will not be games three and four. Definitely, he will be missed. Um, because that last game with Toronto. They, they were just on a shooting spree and we, we couldn't stop them. But hopefully the Sixers will get it together and figure out to win games without him. T. Stiebel in Toronto. But let me know what you think in the comments. T. Stiebel not being vaccinated. Will this hurt the Sixers with his perimeter defense? Um, or can the Sixers overcome this? Let me know what you think. As always, guys, I'm in the building. See y'all in another video.